How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to steal a popular YouTube line, and that is going to be, have you ever had a battery fail you right at that point in time that you needed it the most? If you have, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. So aside from that kind of pun or whatnot, we are talking about battery organization. Now, it kind of sounds dumb, but it's literally the little things like this organization pieces and little stupid things that make your life more difficult if you don't have it squared away. All those seconds you used or minutes trying to find things, especially if you're just trying to find it for the remote or something like that, but then also that other mindset of maybe a life or death situation, right? So my mindset on this is kind of geared to the military aspect of battery organization. I use a lot of batteries within my, in my career and my job. This is a pre-combat inspection um, a list. This is a battle board. I use it all the time, mainly to go run down on what I need permission. So every arrow here is something that requires a battery. That's a lot of batteries I go through with a lot of devices. So why you say, why am I using so many devices that need batteries? Well, I can tell you just on my helmet setup alone, I need seven batteries. And normally before each major mission or major outing, I will go through and replace them all before I go out there. Because mainly one, I don't want to be liable for one of my devices failing and it was necessary for that point in time for maybe the rest of my coworkers or my team and I was the one that failed to check my batteries out. Now I get it, I'm going pretty hardcore on this, but for my career that's very true. And it's made me adopt a way to manage batteries better. And also a couple other things is weapon systems too. You know, IR devices, weapon lights, sights, stuff like that. All this stuff on my entire body requires stuff and I swap them out. So you can see I'm fairly heavy, even other things on batteries, but like range finders or ear pro, which I talked about, weapon sights, other flashlights, that's literally just all on my gear. And you may have a career that is reasonably battery heavy too. So let's dive in. I get the premise why we need it. So let's say how and why or how do I manage it? So of course, all of us, we have probably a junk drawer just filled with stuff or a random box filled with stuff, you know, somewhere a bunch of batteries and they're all organized or they're all kind of miscellaneous but that doesn't really do you any good when you're on the move. And that's what we're gonna talk about. It's on the go, away from your main base operation or you're just your home. With that, how do I take batteries with me? Cause you're probably just gonna go, ah, I'll just reach my hand in here and let's just go with that. If you even remember, but if you already have something pre-staged, say like this Pelican 1050 case already organized properly, which is what I use for everything in my vehicle, in my military kits and stuff like that, this whole kit already laid out with batteries is ready to go. And I can just pull from this when necessary when I'm out somewhere. Now I get it, it looks a little bit big. It's kind of vehicle based or bag based. I'm not actually taking this in, you know, on foot where I'm going, but this is better than being at home or looking at home going, wow, all my batteries at home, I just messed up. So I'll show you how to make one of these too. Actually, you don't have to buy them. You can get some kind of container, which one I recommend the 1050 and I recommend the see-through ones that you can actually look through. They make the black ones too. They make them in different colors, whichever you prefer. I like looking into there and seeing the battery, but you can get them with foam, like just solid foam insert, or you can get them with already pre cutouts, or you can make them yourself, which you can just get a piece of foam like this, cut it out to the proper dimensions, and then you can either just take a drill and drill through at different, you know, cylindrical values of whatever battery you're using. And now you have a whole bunch of this just ready to go. Close it up, you're done. Stuff it full of batteries. One, in this configuration, they're not touching each other. So you don't have to worry about random discharge that are all properly aligned and there's a large amount of them. It's not the whole case, but this pack right here can get me through at least twice of all my batteries on my gear. So I know, hey, for at least two missions, having this, I'm good to go. And it's organized, I know where it is. And lastly, being in here, 
is protects it from the environment. Specifically, that's kind of what you want to protect your batteries, you know, from because it does not like water. If you get soaking wet, your batteries, you know, might have some issues. The contacts are going to drain. And then when you need your backups, your backups have failed too. So you shouldn't even get to that point technically. But if you do, this is what I'm talking about. I also like these Duracell little uh, packs too. I use these all the time. And that's mainly for on body use. So, you know, I go in different levels, as you can see. I'll kind of lay it out is, hey, here's for when I'm at home, I can just grab all these. Okay, here's for when I'm out and about, about to go on my mission. And then I have these pre-positioned in my clothing or in my gear, which I know, hey, double A's are on the left side. CR 123s are over here. You know, 2032s are gonna be down here in this pouch or my admin pocket, because they're very sl slim. Stuff like that, and it just goes in layers. So that's how I have it set up. Also, I place them in this, and then I place them in a plastic bag and then they go inside in case I get soaking wet or drenched because operationally, most of the time, bad guys don't choose to operate in nice sunny day areas. They choose to do it in rain and snow and other crappy environments that I don't really like to be in, but I have to because they put me there. Anyways, that's what I've been talking about. Battery organization. Now I get it, kind of a long thing, but like I said, this stuff will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in this. I have a bunch of these kits all over the place. My GoPro rides in this. Heck, the empty ones, honestly, you can take your batteries out if you're not needing them for some reason and put another device in here, whatever you want. I fly with my night vision in, in these. I put my PVS-14 night vision, seal it up, put it on my carry-on, get on the aircraft. No big deal. It's very much more secured and other stuff. You can put whatever you want in these. But I'll link them, like I said. They are Amazon affiliates, so I will get a percentage, but we're talking like 10 cents if you buy one of these will go to me. It's, it's really not that much. I appreciate it, but you know, kind of whatever. So other than that, if you guys like this kind of stuff and enjoy it, tips, tricks, random stuff that I have, this is just me, real world experience. This is what I use and I'm just trying to share information with it. Regardless if you like it or not, I guess it's out there on the internet now. So I figured it would help someone, maybe. But if you like this kind of stuff and wanna donate, there's PayPal and Patreon available. Patreon sees all the behind the scenes stuff, other things like that, um, that most of you guys will never see unless you're a Patreon. If you don't wanna do that, then just keep enjoying the content. But other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Much better.